This is Horsepower Heaven Television, presented by Parker's Chrysler and sponsored by Automax USA. High desert in summer is a foreboding place. With daylight temperatures topping 110 degrees, it's at night when the creatures of the southwest come out to play. To some, it may seem crazy to go to a drag race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway amid the heat of late June. But there's just something special about being here when the Pacific Streetcar Association comes to the Strip for their annual Calvert Racing Summer Nationals under the lights. You know it's going to be hot here, but even the locals were surprised as temperatures soared to a near record 112 degrees. Fortunately, the staff here at the Strip have some rather unique forms of track prep. Yes, you see that right, and no, this ain't no clay oval. But the water truck from the dirt track next door is put to use spraying upwards of 15,000 gallons of water directly on the racing surface. And it works, too, as the track temperature of 160 plus at 3 p.m. is down to a balmy 115 by the time the cars pull into the lanes at 6. This was our first trip to a streetcar show here in almost eight months, and we were really looking forward to seeing a bunch of new pro streetcars and meeting some of the drivers. Yeah, we started uh, pro street class right at the beginning of the year, and uh, just trying to get acquainted with the class and the car, and it's a whole new deal from the real street class. But uh, we're doing pretty well. We're uh, running good, and uh, we've got the chassis somewhat figured out, and I think we're ready to win some races. Yeah, where do you start on something like this? Do you get the chassis working before you start throwing horsepower at it and stuff? Well, that's a good one because uh, they both got to be applied equally. If you if you detune it and get the suspension set up and then apply the power, you're just going to start all over again. So you got it's a well balanced and orchestrated uh, uh, procedure to get this thing down the track under power and hooked up. I do all the uh, engine building and maintaining uh, at my facility here in Las Vegas. I got uh, three crew members. Uh, Jeff Longden and uh, Mick and Josh had helped me a tremendous amount to make sure this car stays at uh, the cutting edge technology and main maintained for the for the race and uh, all the testing that we do. What's the best numbers on it so far? We ran a best of uh, 667 to 11. So uh, we're we're getting there. We need uh, we need about a tenth and a couple mile an hour, but we'll get there. We just got this car together for this season. Uh, we've had four races in the car. Uh, we came out and uh, been number one qualifier all four races. Uh, two wins, uh, a semi, and a uh, pre-semi. Uh, we've been real happy with the car. We've got a lot of talented people helping us out. Uh, we've been real successful with the Fiends and a new car. We've, uh, we're real happy. Uh, Larry Larson uh, does the chassis. Uh, Kelly with uh, WFO uh, Racing and Machine, uh, Area 5150 helped us out with the paint. Uh, yeah, the paint on this thing is just spectacular. Yeah. How'd that come about? You know, uh, Scott uh, Doherty with Area 5150 is a custom motorcycle painter, and just this year he's uh, moved into about a 12,000 square foot facility and decided he wanted to do some cars, so he grabbed a hold of this thing, and in about two weeks and four days from start to finish, he had it complete. Um, can't uh, thank him enough. Those guys are extremely professional, and, and the car speaks for itself. The paint's phenomenal, especially, I mean, to have a paint done that quick is, is unbelievable. Nitrous car. Any reason for that in particular? Or? 
Uh, it's what we know. Uh, we we bought the motor from Charles Carpenter, uh, who's actually helped us out quite a bit as well. And we want to shout out to him, thanking us, thanking him for helping us out. Uh, Dale Cubic uh, with Cubic Flow Carburetors uh, has helped us out. SI valves. A lot of people have uh, helped us out. No no sponsors yet, but a lot of uh, really talented people helping us out. So as long as that continues, I think we'll be in good shape for the remainder of the year. The best numbers on this thing. Uh, we've been uh, 651 here in Vegas. Uh, in Phoenix, we went uh, 656. Uh, back here, we've been a, a 653. And Montana at the green track, we were able to go 658. Uh, so the, the car's running real well. Uh, we stepped it up a little bit this weekend, so we're, we're anxious to see how it's going to run. Uh, the weather's not so good, but we're, we're hoping to, this year to, to take the record. Well, thanks a lot for taking a few moments with us. We haven't actually started running yet, but uh, we're going to definitely keep our eyes on this thing. I appreciate uh, you coming by, and like I said, I, I, uh, I look at your website all the time, and you guys do excellent stuff over there. Continue that. We appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Qualifying started rather slow and mellow until George Ragoza gave us some rather unexpected excitement. California driver would go on to be top qualifier with an 839 in True Street. In Pro Street, we didn't see much until the final session late Friday night when Big Ed Thornton's shoebox and the new Firebird of Dave Dedrickson pulled in. It was Pulaskas who shot to the number one spot. Walker from Palm Desert, California put his 74 El Camino into the number three position.
it was starting to look like the WFO guys had some work to do, but before we give you every single final round of the event, here's a brief musical interlude. Jeff Frock. It's the Frock rocket. You know, he says the redder the header, the motor run better. So turn the gas on and let it fly.
guys haven't seen uh, a lot on the horsepower heaven videos before. Ron Weems, uh, big win in Outlaw 10-5 tonight. How'd your weekend go, man? Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Besides being real hot, can't have a better weekend. Tell us a little bit about this car. All motor, 642 cubic inches. Uh, light, all motor car. Hey, what, what's the toy factory? Explain that for us. All the toys we got. We race boats, cars, everything. Well, congratulations, Dan. Thank you very much. <laughs> the first time we get to see this car, man, what a spectacular weekend. But it uh, looked like you're, there was some smoke coming out of this thing. Was it hurt at all? Or? We uh, we hurt uh, number six uh, piston around just before this, and we were about ready to give up. And then my crew decided uh, we were going to thrash on it. So hour and 15 minutes, we railed the piston. Uh, still wasn't all right, but we wanted to come up here and race. That's what we come to do. It's unfortunate, but the black car just gets luckier and luckier every week. Um, what can I say there? Walker's group, uh, Gil Navarez, a couple of the other pro teams came over to give us a hand thrashing on it, and that, that really meant a lot, and, and uh, we appreciate it. You know, those guys, anything at all they need, we're, we're there for them. Well, thanks a lot for putting on a spectacular show for yeah. us, Steve, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Motor will be freshened up and uh, should be rocking even harder in Fontana, so we'll be there. We're, we're not going to give up. Yeah, it seems like every time we bring a horsepower heaven camera here, uh, you do well. Uh, what can you say? You've saved your best run for the final round. Uh, how'd the day go? We struggled all day, but came through in the end. Who are the guys on the crew that helped you this weekend? Doug Stewart is uh, the clutch guy, and he was a computer guy today, too, because uh, Shane Tecklenburg wasn't here today, but uh, he helped us out on the phone all day, so really appreciate that. And racing in big heat this weekend, uh, does this car, do uh, you have problems with it in the heat or anything like that? Or Yeah, we struggled all day with the track, sliding around first, second gear, but uh, the track came around in the end. This is the best racetrack in the country. So well, congratulations, man! Uh, you got uh, you got by that uh, nemesis of yours. Yeah, he's really a pain in the butt this year, but <laughs> congratulations I like the competition. <laughs> You've been watching Horsepower Heaven Television, presented by Parker's Chrysler and sponsored by Automax USA.